Uh, this time around here closer to home, no screaming hordes of women today for Britain's Prince Harry on this, the second day of his visit to Washington. Rather, it was a somber day visiting America's military, both injured and fallen. Greta Cruz in our newsroom with more on the Prince's visit today. Greta. Well, Leon, you couldn't get much farther from that naked pool player in Vegas. Today, Prince Harry, a British Army captain and recent co-pilot gunner in Afghanistan, showed a very different side. <laughs> Britain's Prince Harry saluted America's war dead today at Arlington National Cemetery. Laying one wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns and a second in Section 60. Some call it the saddest acre in America. The most recently killed in Afghanistan and Iraq are buried here. It was the randomly chosen grave of a 21-year-old Tennessee soldier. The note read, to my comrades in arms of the United States of America, who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in the cause of freedom. Signed, Captain Harry Wales. It's good to have him here and good to show that, you know, everybody's working together nationally and globally. I think that's very good for them to show their respect to us. We try to show the respect to the British. Later, he changed into combat fatigues for a visit to Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, where he met with veterans recovering from injuries and was briefed on new rehab technologies. Good PR for Britain's sometimes bad boy, said ROTC students from Thomas Edison High School in Alexandria. It means a lot. It means that, um, you know, one day another country is coming, cares about them, cares about what they're doing. A poignant sight, a prince lost in thought among soldiers like himself. Now tonight, the prince is off to Colorado for the Wounded Warrior Games. He'll also be touring sandy-damaged parts of New Jersey, visiting New York City, and playing in a charity polo match in Connecticut before he heads home next week. Live in the newsroom, Greta Cruz, ABC7 News.